about to head off on a plane uh, going all the way to London for the beginning of our Entrepreneur 5.0 uh, tour. And my question to you is, are you ready for 2020? Look where I am. I'm actually at the top of what is like a $1.7 billion uh, new building here in Singapore, which is called the Jewel, which is like right uh, in the middle of Changi Airport. And it is pretty phenomenal. They've actually got a waterfall which goes down, uh, what, like 40 meters. <laughs> Have a look at this. Right, so this is the future right here. There is uh, the waterfall going all the way down there. And what's, what's really interesting about a place like Singapore is Singapore has got a future plan all the way through to 2030 and beyond. So for many of us, we're just trying to figure out how to plan the next week, let alone the next year. And here we have got an entire country that has become one of the most competitive in the world as a result of its ability to be able to plan effectively and then make that dream come true. Like Changi itself is gonna have an entirely new city called Changi City. Uh, we are going to see 30% of all of the food in Singapore uh, being uh, created and homegrown from here in Singapore. The parks are going to be transformed. It's just the most incredible vision for the future. And as we go into 2020, as I go on this trip, I'm about to go to, uh, first of all, uh, in England, we have a number of events. We're going to South Africa for a number of events. We're going to America for our Entrepreneur 5.0 events, which are all about the future and the future that's coming our way and whether or not we're actually setting up ourselves for success for what's gonna come over the next 10 years. Um, so just think back for a moment about the year 1999, right? Like 1999, was just before the big dot-com bust. Uh, the internet had really just started. And at that point, already people were like, okay, what's gonna be coming in the next 10 years without any idea there were gonna be big companies like AOL or MySpace. Do you remember those companies? Um, and they all got kicked off at that time. And it was actually 10 years later, in the year 2009, that the iPhone had just come out. Smartphones had just started. And, and oh, there's the train going by as well. I mean, how few... How futuristic is that? Uh, <laughs> really, we are living in the future. But yeah, 2009, think about like at that point when uh, we were right in the middle of the global financial crisis and at that point, the biggest companies, which really don't even exist in the same way anymore, like all of the mobile phone companies that were the biggest at the time, no longer in existence the same way, you know, companies like Nokia, companies like Motorola. Um, and, here we are 10 years later with big companies like Uber, Airbnb that just got started in 2009, 2010. And so here we are now, 2019. And the real question is what is the world gonna look like 10 years from now? We're about to hit 2020 and then we're gonna have an entirely new decade. And I really believe we are in for some huge shifts that are gonna take place. So we're gonna be talking about that, like Society 5.0, which is Japanese concept of the future, linked to what we're doing right here uh, in, have you ever seen a waterfall that keeps changing color like this? right here what's happening here in Singapore. I think we're in for such an amazing 10 years ahead. So my question for you is where do you see yourself in the year 2029, right? Where do you see yourself? Same country, different country, different business. Uh, post a note down below. I'd love to hear from you. And in the meantime, if you are coming and joining me at one of our events, uh, then I look forward to seeing you. There's a link down below if you want to see where I'm going to be and when I'm going to be there as well. Uh, and with that, I'm going to say, a big uh, goodbye from here in Changi as I hop on my plane. Hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are in the world. And we'll catch up with you on the next episode.